Hello and welcome to another Minecraft Lightmatica Did You Know video. Today I'm going to cover the edit feature of Lightmatica. Say you've got somebody else's schematic or even your own and you wanted to change it. Well, there are a lot of things that you can do. You can actually left click on a block to delete it, right click to place, and anywhere within the actual selection bounding box you can place blocks or delete them. Well, there's also mass edit features that are not on by default. You'll have to actually assign keys to them. Say I want to delete this line of uh, blocks the vertically. Well, I can hold down this hotkey and I can click left click here on the you can see how you can mouse over different areas. I can left click here and it will take all of that vertical line and remove it. Or say I want to add them, I can right click and it will actually add them, which look like it, it. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's supposed to put it beside it or not, but you kind of get the point. Let me reload this real quick. Okay. There is also a break all scenario. And if I hold down the hotkey, you'll see it's on this. So all I need to do is left click and every block of this type within the structure will be deleted, leaving everything else. Reload this again. Sorry for the loud clicks in the menus. I can't, I've got it down to 10% on the volume. It's still loud. Okay. There is also the ability to replace all the blocks of like on this hotkey, it won't replace these stairs, but if I choose a different stair say this one here all of these blocks I can replace them every stair of that type in that general direction everything else will no it actually changed in all direction okay I thought it only did the directional but yeah, we learned something together here we go let's say we want to change these slabs into full blocks. Well, there's a key for that as well. And uh, we can, but these are all just separate hotkeys. And I like that they separated the replace block type with the replace all so that you can actually omit those type of key binds if you want to prevent any serious mistakes from being made. Now I've encountered a lot of people who have used the edit feature and they're fairly familiar and they've assigned their hotkeys and stuff like that. Here's one caveat that most people have not found or not become aware of initially, and that is the ability to actually save your edits. You see, I have uh, modified on blah, blah, blah. Well, they gave us a save to file button. Now I've already done this once. You can see I have storage my way copy, and I did that intentionally, and I created a new one, or you can actually save over top of this file and that will save your work. Otherwise, what would happen is you could do all of your edits, um, save and close Minecraft for the day, go back in to continue work on your build, and all of those edits will have reverted to the original schematic block types that were unedited at the time. So you actually have to save this to continue on with your edits in the schematic. And I've encountered a lot of people and I've educated them along the way. They were not familiar with the ability to do so. That's essentially all I need to cover in this video, I believe. I don't know if I've, if I've missed anything. Feel free to comment down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.